We're talking quarterbacks, starts and sits, and start of the week I think is going to be great at the quarterback position. It's Ben Roethlisberger. Love the setup for him at home against Seattle. The thing I love the best is when he plays at home, especially in his home openers. At home last year, average 25.6 fantasy points per game. In home openers the past five years, 28.8 fantasy points per game. And coming off of a loss last year, 26.7 fantasy points per game. All these things set up very nicely for Roethlisberger, so I think you should feel very confident about him as a top 10 fantasy quarterback. Guy I'm avoiding this week at the quarterback position, that's Aaron Rodgers. Well, struggled last week, 14 fantasy points against the Bears. Another tough matchup for him at home against Minnesota. I think you'll see him have a little bit of a difficult time in a game that I don't think they're going to need him to throw very much because it's going to be a little bit of a close scoring affair. And as we saw, Minnesota did a great job against Matt Ryan for the better part of three quarters before he found his way to 22 fantasy points. I will take the under for that on Rodgers. And if you feel lucky, start Josh Allen over Aaron Rodgers. Great setup for him this week against the Giants. They couldn't stop anything that Dak Prescott threw at him. And I like the fact that Allen was able to run again. 10 carries, 38 yards, and a touchdown. Dave, what are you doing at the quarterback position? I am starting Dak Prescott. I'm all in, baby. This offense, I told you that it was going to be different this year. And boy, was it ever. Lots of movement, lots of passing, and lots of effectiveness. This quarterback really seems to agree with what Kellen Moore, their new play caller in Dallas, is telling him to do. And he's going up against a, a Washington defense that cracked last week. 201 yards allowed in the air just in the second half. And the Cowboys match up well against this defense. Dak Prescott, top six fantasy quarterback. I like Roethlisberger. I'd rather start Dak. I'm sitting Kyler Murray at Baltimore. I just think it's a bad spot for him to be in on the road against the Ravens defense. I know Baltimore's missing a couple of pieces out of their secondary. Doesn't matter to me at all. I just think it's a tough spot for Kyler Murray to be in. And I am going to stream Matthew Stafford. I would stream Stafford ahead of Kyler Murray. I don't know what's going on with this Lions run game. And I don't think it even matters because I think that's a tough matchup for Carrion Johnson to begin with. Stafford's got options now through the air. We saw it with Danny Amendola. We saw it with TJ Hawkinson. We know he's got it with Kenny Galladay and Marvin Jones. He's got plenty of players to throw to. I think you're going to continue to see him put the ball in the air. A good quarterback to stream this week if you're trying to get away from Jameis Winston. If you're still reeling from losing Andrew Luck, whatever is going on, Stafford's going to be what fixes it. Keith, you were down on Matt Ryan coming into the season, but you are changing your tune for week number two. Yeah, he was outside my top 20 last week, but back inside the top 10 this week, back at home where he has been much better throughout his career, facing an Eagles defense that is still frantically searching for Terry McLaurin. They have not found him yet. I expect this to be a relatively high-scoring game and Ryan to put up good, low-end QB1 numbers. I am afraid of Phillip Rivers, who was close to a start when I thought Hunter Henry was going to play, but if there's no Hunter Henry and there's no Mike Williams, you're looking at a receiving core that is Keenan Allen, then Travis Benjamin, and Dontrell Inman. There's going to be a lot of dump-offs. I expect them to run the ball more. I would actually stream another AFC West quarterback, Derek Carr, over Phillip Rivers. His last two home games against the Kansas City Chiefs he has been a top five fantasy quarterback. And you saw this Chiefs defense against Gardner Minshew giving up 22 of 25 with deep bombs all over the place. I like that call on Derek Carr. I keep moving him up and up and up. He's in my top 14. He may crack the top 12 as well. I like the setup for him.